Mr. Alex, welcome. Hi, how you doing? You know, so Bonnie, as I was saying, you know, he's just not very smart, you yeah. know, and so being able to to click on a link to get into a website, you know, I mean, yeah, for whatever reason, that link just we could go on and on and on. You know, like, I mean, if you had to have somebody read me my lines to me. Yeah. About, about the shenanigans. Yeah. This is this is up, right? This is yeah. up. I want the shenanigans. I want the shenanigans scoop on this film. Um, okay, let's get started because I was just saying to to Paul, Alex, how much I really, really love this film. And I really thought you were so fantastic in it. I, honestly, I, I just I don't know how you pulled it off, but you did. And I gotta tell you, it stirred so many emotions in me watching this as a mother, as somebody mm -hmm. who's always struggled with her weight, um, bullying, everything, everything. It hit all the buttons. And Paul, let's start with you because clearly you read the book. It touched you in some way. I don't take, uh, maybe I did not read the book. He's not a big reader. Not okay. a big reader. Well, I guess. Was, it, it, listen, even if you read the you know, first few chapters, I would say, yeah, I would want to make this film. So yeah. what was it about it that you thought, yeah, I got to do this and, and it's going to be tough, but I'm going to do this? Um, really, when I set out to do it, when I, when I optioned the book, this was going to be my next project and come hell or high water, I'm going to find the financing for this one way or another. And this is a movie that I'm going to make. Um, I was really starting a new chapter in my life uh, as to the films that I wanted to make. And, um, and I really kind of wanted to make movies that made a difference, that had a social impact. And this is the first, of, first movie of that new chapter. And um, so I just set out to get it made. And, uh, you know, I just thought that the story was very powerful. Mm -hmm. um, I really related to the character of Butter myself in high school, hence Butter drives a Mustang and I drove a fast Mustang in high school and many other little <laughs> Easter eggs that are in the film that even Alex probably doesn't even know about. I, I didn't realize that. No, there's a lot. There's <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Alex, you are me. We are we. I knew it. I am. Um, and so, yeah. I mean, that that was it. I just, it was, uh, I was going to get it made one way or another. And then Alex, you, you tackle this role with, uh, I have to say it was such bravado. Like, honestly, like I said earlier, the emotions in me went like this, watching, mm -hmm. watching you on this, on the screen. And I, I, I just have to know what your initial reaction was because truly this is your first big feature film. You're a liar. Yeah, <laughs> no, this this is the biggest thing I have ever done in my career. Um, and it's still kind of shocking to me that I get to take a little bit of credit with this when it comes my way. But it's I wasn't expecting to get this kind of feedback. I wasn't expecting to get all these you know, accolades and awards um, from the film festivals and stuff. It's really kind of threw me for a loop, um, especially because this is so not my general style. I'm much more uh, comedic when it comes to performing. But when it when the, the when Paul came to me with the script, he's like, look, I want you to stick to the script. I want you to be this character. Yeah. So we worked with an acting coach to help me make sure I stayed in character he wrung he wrangled me in when I was improvising a bit too much or too often right um especially with Ravi um that that got a little chaotic Ravi at times Patel. but uh Ravi Patel is just absolutely just a dynamite guy I was cracking I'll, up the I'll entire explain time. what Alex means by that you know Ravi worked one day as Doc Bean yeah, um, yeah, yeah, he's great, he's great. Yeah. Complete scene stealer, I mean, yeah. but he went in and he never did it the same time twice <laughs> and he had yeah. everybody in stitches Yeah, and no one could stop laughing. I mean, even if you look at the movie, Alex is like looking away, yeah. holding it in. I mean- Yeah, I, I was biting the inside of my cheek he, he the entire, the every time cheek, I had a scene with him. But it played for, Yeah, he's feeling embarrassed and humored by the fact that the doctor had just asked his mom, you're not feeding any, him any sweets, mom, right? And so it plays within that moment. But what yeah. was really going on is 
Ravi just had us in stitches. And even when he was in, uh, in off camera, you know, I would say action. Yeah. And he would he would crawl in the room on his hands and knees. And Mira and Alex would just start cracking up. Anyway, so that that was the rough part. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it was good probably to have some levity throughout oh, 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 making okay. this. I mean, come on. Fun. Yes. I, you know, Alex, I look, there's a lot of there are some humorous moments because of the personality of your character and everything, too, of course. But it's a hard watch for some some of it, especially for the fact yeah. and I don't want to give too much of away because I really, really, really want people to see this. And I really want teenagers and kids to see this. That's without a doubt. But the scene how Butter gets his his nickname was so hard to watch. Mm. I can't even imagine what it was like shooting that scene. Uh, no, it was it was interesting because it was the first thing we shot. Wow! That that all, the whole flashback sequence, so going to the salad bar, getting tossed in the ground, getting force fed butter, as brutal as it looks in the trailer, it's so much more intense in context of the movie. Yeah, and I really wasn't expecting to do that first day. Uh, Paul kind of surprised me with that very much. Yeah. Um, but it was it was so it was it was actually fun to shoot because everyone was very supportive. That's how like people kind of got a little more faith in the movie because like we got one of the more complicated and heartfelt and heart wrenching scenes out of the uh, way made yeah. uh, on the day one. So seeing you know all these you know actors. Uh, creatives, the DP, makeup and hair, going. I'm, I'm, I'm not missing a single day of work. I have to be on this movie because. Yeah, it's very true. I, yeah. I can't, I can't miss, I can't miss what's going to happen next. Right. If they're going to play this intense and this hard on day one, I can't imagine what's going to happen on day eighteen and so on. Yeah. And, yeah. No, it, it just shows like I just when you watch it, you just feel for everybody and, and how hard and how devoted I think everybody was to this. And Paul, you know, when you make a movie like this with this type of topic, it comes with a lot of responsibility. You know, yeah. you're, you're talking to, to people out there who can relate to this in, in one way or another, whether they're overweight or whether they're being bullied for, I don't know, having a zit, like stupid things, social media, like don't even get me started, you know? Um, how much research, how much, you know, backing did you get from, um, you know, credible um, people who like kind of, you know, stood by you to say, yeah, you're doing it right or, you know, to get that out there? Well, uh, we had partnered up with the Jed Foundation, which uh, is a mental health uh, nonprofit, uh, very well known, one of the largest in the country. Um, on teenage mental health, and they vetted Dear Evan Hansen, right. so they had agreed to work with us. We, I sent them several different drafts of the script, and they, you know, made some suggestions. I wanted to make sure that with such a serious subject matter that I was going to be handling it, and we were all going to be handling it responsibly, or as as responsible as we as as we could. So I didn't want to take any guesses as to this is how things are and this is how things work. Yeah. Um, and so they were terrific. And when I was finished cutting the film uh, or, or one of my early edits, I showed them the movie and they came in with some, with some more comments and I addressed those comments. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's, yeah. that's, uh, that's where we are. Um, you know, we just got a review from... I can't remember the name. Uh, CommonSenseMedia.org, okay. and they are the police watch of making sure that things are done responsibly. Yeah. Uh, or for teenagers, they gave us five out of five stars. Bravo! Never give five out of five stars, and they're saying every teenager in every high school should watch this movie Agreed. across the country. Yeah. You know, and we are talking to hundreds of high schools right now about playing the movie in health classes. And there being a curriculum, there is a curriculum that Napa Valley High School District did. Right. And it's like that this movie is going to go on to, you know, really help teenagers uh, and, and get the discussion going. You know, to me, Butter's Art Meets Advocacy. Uh -huh. The art is, we made a really cool film. We made a really good movie. And the advocacy is kids can leave some kind of an idea on what to do to help themselves or to help others. That's so fantastic. Ultimately, 
to have the conversation. Talk oh, about it. Talk, yeah. talk. Absolutely. And, and Alex, for you, like even mm -hmm. now, um, you know, once kids, people start seeing this, more and more people get seeing it, you're going to be a role model. You're going to be somebody who they're going to turn to. And, you know, have you thought about that? Because even on social media, I know that you're on Twitter. I know that, you know, people will reach out to you. Um, that's a big responsibility, but I will. They will. Clearly, I think you can they, handle they it. Have. So tell me a little bit about some interaction that, that you have that you've had already. Um, it's mostly been from the international audiences because uh, fortunately it's been out in a couple international regions. So I'm getting messages from people from Chile, Peru, Argentina. I got one guy from the Philippines right. who just happened to see the trailer and it's like, I, I want to see this movie. Is it coming to my country? I'm like, that's not my call, but right. we're going we're gonna to get as many screens, as many people, as many eyes on the screen as we can because this movie is so important. So if I don't do another movie in my career, I don't care. This movie is such a highlight. It's going to be like top one, two, three, however many projects I ever, I'm lucky enough to do in my career. Mm. Like this movie has the power to save lives. It has saved lives. That's. It has. Yeah. We, we like, did some screening at some high schools and a girl came forward um, uh, wanting to help her friend and her friend was suicidal and got counseling. Wow. And ultimately, you say it saved her life. That's so, amazing. That's, yeah. see, these are the stories. These are the movies that I want to that are important that need to be seen. Um, you have a few more minutes. I just, Alex, I, I, you know, you also get to work with some great people and your parents. They're not too shabby, are they? Uh, no, no, they were they were absolutely amazing to work with. Like I, I would work. I, I want to be adopted. <laughs> that was uh, kind of my joke uh, throughout the shoot. Like so, um, like I. Can I crash in your couch? Can I <laughs> type of thing? What um, do you learn as a young actor working with, you know, Mira Servino and Brian? Um, I mean, that's amazing. They were great. Mira really helped me kind of stay grounded in just kind of like just be in the moment, give the energy that I'm giving off, match the excitement, whatever. Like do what comes naturally as you're flowing. Just memorize the words not how you want to say it basically mm -hmm. that was a really bad habit that I still kind of fall into as an actor um but the fact that she took her time she took time to really help me get there um mentally with the character and she was just so motherly behind the scenes too yeah like she was very encouraging like, even when I was having like really emotional days because I was dealing with depression uh, while shooting this like during the Christmas scene I was legitimately like causing me to go into a really depressive episode and that was terrifying to me because I'd never been that low before and that kind of self-caused it like after we shot my coverage I went out to the backyard of the house we were shooting in and it took I think one of the PAs like 10 minutes to find me because I didn't tell anybody where I was going I just needed to collect myself yeah and even uh Mira and Brian were like dude just take your time like we're here. We're not going to, this scene is important. So it, it's going to happen. Just take your time when you're ready. We'll do it. Like, and don't worry. If you're in tears, you're in tears. That's the energy. It's going to help make ours you know, look better anyway. And they're just, they were just really cool people. I would work literally, literally, I have no negative stories about this movie at all. Yeah. Yeah. How, how did working on this film pull you out of that, your depression or, or, or help you, help you with that? Um, it helped me have another way to process it. And it's made me realize that, you know, maybe I do need to get um, counseling, go into therapy, uh, take medication if necessary, find things. And there's a million things you can do to help with someone's depression. I don't believe there's like one fix no, for everything no, with that. No. Um, so you know, I went into, I went into therapy recently. I started taking medication and it's helping me. Good. Um, and then, you know, you also have to find a creative outlet and acting is one thing that I'm having some success at currently. So I'm going to keep going for it. Um, and I'm enjoying writing stuff too. So I'm starting to write, I'm starting to get more elevated now. I just need to make it so I can start losing more weight 
because COVID kind of screwed up any progress I had with that. Yeah, well, you're not and you're not the only one. I mean, you know, for sure. Don't don't put that on your shoulders because we all yeah. we all went through that and it's right. been a rough two years. But I, I'm I'm glad. I'm so happy to hear that you're, you know, you're taking the steps to get out of that. And 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 I, I just honestly cannot commend you enough for this role. Like it really was fabulous. And Paul, you just did such a great job directing it and, and bringing you. it to us. And um, I just can't thank you enough, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And I will get this out there, no no question. And you guys come visit me in Toronto at some point. And, uh, that sounds oh, like fun. Love to, love to meet that. in person. When it warms up. Oh yeah, when it warms up, you don't want to come now. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like the desert right now, it's, it's nice. <laughs> Yeah, I, I got I got to get out. Maybe I got to get out your way and meet you guys. So anyway, thank you so much for your time, guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, thank you. Great, great job. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Bye, guys. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Bye. Robin. Thank you.